What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode five of Hayfield Garage. Today's episode, we are pulling the five three apart. We're gonna pull the uh, the rods, the pistons out of it. We're gonna pull the heads off of it. Inspect everything. We've got some bearings and some ring coming. We're gonna gap those and pop some new bearings in it. Make sure we can this this engine's fresh. I'm gonna assume that majority of y'all there's a mechanic that's gonna be doing the work. Majority of y'all know how to pull an LS apart. For those who don't, this will be a time-lapse video. Some of it, not all of it, but um, let's get started. to make a mess I'm sure oh yeah that was real gross Do an inspection real quick. I'm going over the flashlight, make sure that thing looks good. Have the heads off. Now we can start looking at a little bit of uh, what we got going here. Got a little valve nick there. Looks like it happened a while ago though. Let me show y'all. It's a little valve nick right there. It's not too bad. A little trash down in there. Looks pretty good for having God knows how many nitrous uh, bottles put through it. And clean it up, pop some rings and bearings in it. All that water is about to come out. All down in there, this engine needs to be hot tanked or something. got the engine upside down I haven't seen this in almost four years so I'm not really sure what to expect it doesn't look that bad it looks it looks honestly pretty good it's a little dirty the engine had 110,000 miles on it when I bought it in early 2018 so I've maybe put 30, maybe 30,000, but they've been, they've been some really hard miles. So let's, let's tear it up and look, see what we got. Little hack that I would expect everybody to know, these are tiny, is when you're pulling an engine apart like this, level your bolts. 
straight off our old pump is pumping it's a little bit full out there okay so I'm gonna label these and start pulling the pistons out This is how you burr the piston. You gotta be careful. So push it down. Should be starting to come out by now. Almost. There it is. And welcome to the world. You haven't seen the outside world since like 2001. We're gonna take this crank to the machine shop and have them go over it. Still spins good, nice and free. But I'm just gonna have them go over it to double check. I mean, it spins really good. Pistons. They actually look really good. So, I'm probably gonna keep these pistons and these rods, my flashlight's on finally, and just pop some new bearings in it, some new rings, gap them. I'm gonna pull these rings off and gauge them, See, use a filler gauge to see what the factory, um, factory gap is and um, gap the new ones for nitrous. But this crank's gotta come out now to be taken to the machine shop. I'm not a big fan of the way it looks. It's okay, I don't know what to expect after 130, 140,000 miles. It actually looks really good. So let's continue. If you've been watching Hayfield Garage, you would know that I'm doing all this because I had a no start condition. It just wouldn't start. I'll see if I can find a video to show you guys. But I think I have found the culprit. I think it was my crank sensor and crank sensor wiring. That is just torched. I mean, this is supposed to be wire loom. And it's, you can see bare wire. Can you focus in on me for me? No. It's just junk. And upon further looking, this is my crank sensor. The bolt is like, I'm just gonna go and take it out. It's a long-winded bolt. Yeah, so, I'm not sure. I'm gonna replace this before I put the Terminator on. It doesn't look too bad. The little prongs down in there. But we're just gonna replace this. All right, it's been a couple days since we've worked on, worked on this thing can't get the crank bolt out. I've tried, we've had three people on it and uh, won't budge. So we've got the blue wrench here today and it's got no choice but to go. Persuasion. Yeah, I got a fire extinguisher. What it look like? A redneck? Well, once you get the bolt out, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Oh, oh play.
I can't be the only one that finds that satisfying. shape, fashion, or form, a professional. But I can do a little bit. Not too bad, but then again, I have no idea. This one. Needs to be uh, checked out. They all really need to be checked out. That is going to be all for this episode. Make sure you guys drop a comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Next episode, we're going to be going to the machine shop to turn the crank. Maybe if we might just polish it. Just depends. Pop some new bearings in. Pop some rings in and start putting this engine back together. Um, I'm waiting on some parts right now for it. Everybody knows how shipping is right now, so everything's taking a little bit longer, which is okay. We're not in really no major hurry. Also, got a new hood. This is a Racer's Edge fiberglass hood lift off. We got to put the whatever you want to call those motion race works rails, these Zeus, these whatever, these nuts. I put those on there after we get everything mounted back in. Engine, fender, everything. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see it.